Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to teach you yet another polyrhythmic Travis Picking riff. Okay, another polyrhythmic riff. By another, I mean that I've already taught you uh, two polyrhythmic riffs. The first one being. Okay, which is kind of a polyrhythmic lick because it's three on four. Okay, but um, the second one was actual polyrhythm. It was da 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 da, which is actual three on four. Okay, I taught you how to play this in finger style. Now this one, the riff that I want to teach you today, is um, it's reminiscent of the first one, but it's a lot more difficult. It's um, it's it's a tricky riff, and it goes like this. It, it sounds a lot simpler but it's a lot trickier to actually execute. So... Okay, now this one is the three part because it's da 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 but it's just two of the three, okay? The third note is silent. Okay, it's not silent, okay? Technically, it's not silent. It's just a long note, okay? Covering the two beats, okay? But... Okay, it's just one, two, one, two, one, two. You don't play the third beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Um, while the bass notes go... Okay, one, two, three, four. So, um, the bass notes actually go all over the place here. You start okay, by putting on three and four on strings two and three, okay? And then you add five and five on two and three, okay? With the remaining two fingers. And that's the riff. Five and five, three and four on strings two and three. Then you add the bass notes, okay? So it starts from, it starts from A, okay? Five and five with A. And then you play the E bass. And then you have the riff again. But this time the A bass lands on the three and four. You see how this is confusing? So you play it with five and five. E, and then with three and four, okay? So, and then it reverses. You play E with five and five, and then you play A, and then you play, okay? <laughs> five and five, and then the E bass lands on three and four. So it reverses, okay? So you get how this is confusing. It sounds simple, but it's not. And why should it be? It's a Larry Coriel riff. It's, uh, it's the riff that begins Larry Coriel's um, rendition of Morning of the Carnival. So... Okay? And just continue to your heart's content. So, um, just practice it slowly. Um, that's all I can say because um, you just have to wrap your brain around it and just let your hand get used to it. Get used to playing this and just alternating the bass notes um, automatically because if you think about this riff too much, you get lost in it and then you don't know what to do with your thumb next. So try to try to make the thumb movement automatic and just think about this. And 
because if you start thinking A, E, A, E, you see? I missed the note. Um, there's no other way to do it. You just practice it slowly. Yeah, you see, I can't even talk while doing this. Just speed it up. Until you can play it. It's a really good exercise. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, bye for now. Enjoy.